Hi and welcome to my first tutorial of 2011 and I'm, today I'm going to be showing something pretty cool. I'm going to be showing how we can use tracking data to clean up um, images on video footage that we've taken and bring that into our compositions within After Effects so we can do quite cool stuff. So I'm going to show you the footage we're going to be working with in this example. Um, what we have here, we have a shot and it's a little bit unsteady but uh, what I don't like about the shot is we've got this graffiti on the left where um, hooligans have come in and just decided to spray it. So I'm going to basically go about fixing that shot and trying just to make this shot look a little bit prettier. And we're going to be using a bit of uh, software that's bundled with Adobe After Effects called Mocha. Um, on a Mac you can find it inside the After Effects folder within the applications. Uh, on a PC it's actually in the program files of the After Effects folder another folder called Mocha and then it's Mocha. Alternatively in Windows 7 and Vista you can just search for Mocha and it'll load up. So what we need to do, um, we're going to take it into Mocha. Uh, first off we're going to pre press this new button. Uh, you can either do Command and N or we can just press the button. And we want to import the footage in. So because I've already brought it in we've got that warning box but you won't get that when you bring your footage. So a little bit about the Mocha interface before we get going with it. We have at the top the bars we're going to be working with. These are different tools, zoom, pan, move, points. Kind of like your standard interface. It's quite similar to how uh, After Effects works, but it just brings that much more that After Effects doesn't. So I'm going to trim this down. I'm going to do a few frames, uh, about 150 frames for an example. So I'm going to choose a point which where the shot becomes steady, so around frame 50, and I, so I don't have to work with the whole timeline. I'm just going to go over to this button on the far, uh, far point, which is set in point. If you press it, it brings the red box that was at the end to the uh, where the cursor currently is. You'll notice there's still the red on the right. I'll actually do that to 50. So, and I'm going to take this up to about frame 200 just so we've got enough tracking data. So, as you can see, instead of having all this bar to work with, just to make it a bit simpler, we can just zoom the timeline in. Alternatively, you can press the button next to that to zoom it back out. So, we're now working with just that little length of footage, and I'm going to show you how to get tracking data off this. Mocha works a bit different from other tracking software, and especially the one that's in After Effects. Uh, the one in After Effects is a point tracker, meaning that you set it on a point and it tries and sticks to that point, whereas Mocha uh, is a planar tracker and it works off uh, the textures that are currently in the scene. So we need to pick something that, so I'm going to remove the graffiti on this wall, so we need to track the wall. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go up to the top and use the X-Blind tool, and when you click it, your cursor will turn into a crosshair, and you just select around the area that you want to track. And when you found all the points you want to do, just right click your mouse and it'll snap to those points. So what we want to do is just choose the area we want to track, but you want to go further than uh, just the area you want to track, meaning don't go like, uh, if I was to track this wall perfectly, don't get it just directly in that point. Uh, in that point, because it's not a point tracker, as I've said, it's a texture tracker, so you need quite a lot of surface. So that looks like a good point, and we're going to just press this button on the far right, and that'll track that area forward. Uh, while that does its thing, uh, we can just kind of admire the quiet, grotty scene that it is in Britain on this particular day. So that's currently tracking forward. Um, in After Effects we can do some stuff while that's working its magic. If we import the footage, give it a few seconds, we want to make a new composition with this footage. Uh, so you can just drag that into the composition window and you'll see a composition is made on the right. Alternatively you can drag it into the button at the bottom, whatever is easier for you. So right off the bat we need to make this footage identical to the footage that we've been working with with Mocha. So this is what your standard interface is going to look like for most people that use After Effects. We need to get it to show frames. So rather than doing the calculation that 50 frames is 24 frames in the scene, so it's 2.2 seconds, we want to just go directly to the frame. So the easiest way to do it is to press Command, Alt, Shift, 
click this box down here and this will change it to frames and you'll see it's put gone over to five zeros and that shows you're in frames. So we want to go to frame 50 and we'll just trim the footage to there and we're going to frame 200 and we'll trim the footage to there and we can bring that to the beginning of the scene. So what we have now is this the exact same footage we're working with in After Effects. We just brought it in here and we'll give it a name and we can lock that. So because it's uh, locked we're going to need to duplicate it. So you can press Apple D or alternatively you can go to Edit Duplicate and uh, just relock that there. So this we're going to call Track Guide and we're going to be using this um, footage in order to work out um, the guide that we want to track kind of our uh, mocker data. So if we go to um, composition, sorry, uh, layer, we can pre-compose this and we'll call this track. So you see that's gone completely over to that and just trim this footage down again in this scene so it's exactly the same as the other. Let's have a quick look. So yeah, they sit. So what we want to do right with this footage, because this is basically a guide now, we're going to be using this footage only to show us how we can set up initial data. So if we right click this and we turn it to a guide layer, and we can lock it. This is all we're going to use this frame for, is just to show for examples for how we're going to set up other shots. So right off the bat, let's show what it looks like if you weren't to have tracking data brought in. So um, we just type the word test and we can layer that up on the wall. We can see that it's on the wall in the first frame, but without tracking data, it just stays in the exact same point. So what we need to do now is bring data that Mock has been dealing with over to us. So if we have a look, I'm going to just have a quick scroll through. We can see that Mock has pretty much stuck perfectly to where we want it to stick to. It's not wandered off while I was showing you all the stuff in After Effects. But we're not 100% sure about the um, what it's done. So if we go over to the right and we click the button called Surface, we can now just really roughly layer up the area that we're going to go in a bit more detail than what we did with the initial tracking points. So, something like that. If we now go to uh, the first frame, if we just click anywhere on the timeline and drag that, just re-click that, go down to adjust track and now it gives us these red uh, four dots, one for each part of the surface and we're going to want to drag these onto something and this basically combines planar tracking and point tracking into kind of something a bit more kind of real. So if we just find some points, luckily when I was doing the shot I came up with the idea that I'd be able to use uh, these set points on the shot, but I'm sure you can find something. Just make sure it's something that doesn't move with the wind or anything else. So I've got those points. So what I'm going to do now is go directly to the last frame and have a look how much those have wandered off the original points. So again, just re-click these, choose every track. Now that one's about right. These have stuck to these points pretty damn well, I must be said. That one's wandered. Master frame, put it on the top. Go halfway, have a quick check. Wow, that's stuck up to it really well. There's actually no need to just do a quick adjustment, but have a look through yours and make sure that those points are the same. And basically just work in half. So basically go to the last frame, then the middle frame, and then if it's still wrong, go in between those frames. Don't just do it like pick uh, frame by frame, just do it so it's much easier. So we now have this data and we're going to be wanting to bring this over to After Effects. So the way that I've done it, if we press this button up here called the line surface, it makes the uh, once what's on the edge of the uh, data, it makes it to the full screen and you see the points fly out. So we can just go down to export tracking data and we want to go in here use the corner pin one and just press copy to clipboard. So 
we've already set all this up in After Effects. As long as we go to the first frame, we can just paste it in. Now, if you notice, what now happens is the word test sticks perfectly to the wall because the frame is completely set up for uh, what we've just done, rather than it just staying in the same point. So we need to do. We can do some really inventive stuff with this now, meaning. If we go back and we can just turn off the test to show, we can take a kind of like a screen grab of this one frame and export it to a Photoshop file. So if you just go uh, letter, oops, we go back. Sorry, uh, if you go composition, save frame as file, that'll add it to the render queue. We can give it a name. I'm going to throw it on my desktop. Uh, I'm going to call it footage. I'll let it just render out. Give it a few seconds. And that'll pop. So what I'm going to do now is open up Photoshop and show you how we can take the data that we've got through Mocha and everything else and basically go about removing the graffiti on that wall. So while Adobe opens, if we just go to the desktop and open up the footage, we can see right off the bat that we have our um, same image that we're working with. So we want to make a new layer. We don't want to be dealing with this. And we can go about doing it one of two ways. Um, if it's just like a little bit of graffiti on the wall, you'll probably find that if you go to the spot healing brush, turn on content aware and sample all layers. Um, make sure that that is toggled. If it's not, if you go over and you try and use content aware, it won't do anything. But if we have it ticked, It'll be able to, if we just go over the graffiti in these set areas, quite loosely. Again, when it's your own footage, spend a bit longer on it than what I'm doing. And then you can just keep going over the content aware and just try and make it look a bit better. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, what is a bit better, which I prefer doing, is using the clone stamp tool. And just pick a region that's close and similar, and you can basically work on any part of your footage that is on the same kind of plane as the other side. So while we've tracked this side, it means that it's also indirectly tracked this side due to the shot being very central. Um, but what it hasn't done is track the back. But we could have a look and see how much that deals with it. So we're basically going to go over and basically uh, fix all the kind of walls and just make uh, the shot look a bit better. So. While I do that, it's just a huge process of pressing Alt, clicking above, and then just finding a bit that sits quite well. And after a minute or two, we should be able to have something that looks pretty decent. Again, this is extremely rushed. So have you ever used Photoshop before? you're going to be able to just like blast this out in a couple of seconds. So that wall's good enough for me. And I'm just going to repair this wall a touch. Let me just get rid of all like, the heat spots and the water damage that's been put there over the years. And let's have a quick look. We'll see if we can remove these in the background as well. Let's clean all this up. Just to see how much this data has actually like allowed us to pull. So So there's a really loose thing. So if we basically toggle off the back plate because we put it all in a new layer, this is what it's generated. 
So we can just resave that file, and then we can bring all that data back into After Effects. So right click in this box, press Import, File. I know it's on the desktop, that's where I saved it. Um, let's bring it in as a composition. So we'll notice that we have both the layers brought in. We only want this layer. And we can take it out of here. And if we open up our track layer, we can just paste it into our track and snap it into the area. And as you see, it lines up perfectly. So what that now allows us to do, as with just the text, is manage to retrack all that footage and make it stick to the walls, allowing you to clean up these plates extremely quickly using a piece of software like Mocha. And it kind of gives you that quite uh, good effect look. And even in the background, it's managed to remove all the kind of bricks and the sticks that were out of the ground. And you can do some really cool stuff using the tracking data. So if we just allow this to be and after and that just sticks on the original footage extremely well and that's how you can use simple tracking data from Mocha with the help of a really simple image tool such as Photoshop and combining it with After Effects and the kind of the whole bundle and bring it together and shows you how to clean up these plates I hope that was useful and again thanks for watching